Hey, how's it going back again with another Pokemon Go episode? We're just heading down to new, a new level 1 raid boss which was added last night along with the arrival of Giratina. We have a new level 1 raid boss, Bagon, which is quite appropriate as there will be a community day featuring himself on the 13th of April. Uh, next month, another Saturday, uh, 3 to 6 once again, which is an interesting time. Town can be quite busy, but uh, only up until about half four, and then it quietens down. And then it's a bit like playing on a Sunday, so you kind of walk around, and not really look where you're going. So we're going to do as many big on as possible before community day, so we can get a few good IV ones and evolve them into Salamance. And hopefully, Salamance will be given a good move and uh, bumped up into Meta, and uh, maybe catch up with Rayquaza. So right now we're going to jump in with Rayquaza and see if we can get a good time. We're going to post to the Raid Times website. I think it'll be the first entry, so we'll have the top score anyway, so catch you up in a bit. So, as you'll see here, I jumped into my first bag on raid. Uh, trying to use the quick drain trick to get in 180 seconds. Unfortunately, I swiped to my uh, Rayquaza a bit too quickly and ended up uh, picking a Mammoth Swine and been able to join the raid at around 178 seconds. I didn't do too badly, I think it was 161 seconds. Um, but thankfully, around the corner, and there was parking because it was quite early in the morning, there was another bag on raid, so we jumped into that and uh, used the quick drying trick correctly. Got into 180 seconds with a Rayquaza. Ended up at the time at about 169 seconds. Not sure of the charge move, but we'll submit that. The previous one had Twister. Um, first one was 15 attack as well, uh, next one was amazing 15 HP, so we'll see what the attack is like on that. But I think we have about 3 or 4 good uh, big ones to uh, evolve come community day on the 13th of April. Um, so hopefully we can do a couple more um, before community day. And also we've got a bug event coming from the 2nd to the 9th of April. Uh, which will see the appearance of a lot more bug type Pokemon, possibly the introduction of Shiny Scyther. Uh, but as we've seen with the Grass event, Atlantic are not releasing a, a new Shiny with each event. Uh, I suppose it makes sense, they're not trying to rush everything out. Um, so Incense will last uh, twice as long and more Pokemon will appear. Um, so that'd be quite beneficial to rare repairs. So they'll be able to stick up an Incense and uh, get some bug type Pokemon, maybe they need it for their bug medal to uh, get that to gold. And tomorrow we have a research day featuring a low toad and we'll have a shiny cast form, normal, uh, which I think is pink. Uh, shiny low toad and that family are very very nice so hopefully we can pick up a couple. Hopefully planning to uh, travel around as the research day now takes place from 11 until 8 p.m. which is quite nice for people who live in a big city or people who are working and get off and then can uh, spin some bug stops and do some tasks so looking hopefully to uh, travel to Kinsale spin the bug stops there have some lunch uh, do some sightseeing and then maybe head on to Killarney and uh, finish up in Trolley uh, in the evening time and then head back to Clamell and see if we can uh, spin any stops here um, things are going to be totally random in terms of the rewards at bug stops. So if you get a shiny low toad at a bug stop, that won't be shiny for me. Which I, I think is fair enough, uh, especially with the length of today as well. So you're going to have plenty of time to spin bug stops, do tasks. Uh, tasks shouldn't be too taxing. We um, make great throws, nice throws. Uh, I don't think there's any hatch and eggs this time around. I think there's a battle in the gym, which is fair enough. I'm not sure if it was a raid one, but uh, I think overall it's fair enough. And uh, hopefully we'll end up with some low toads, hopefully three, so we can keep all three. And uh, see what the weather is like. Let's see if we can pick up a, a shiny cast from as well. Which uh, would be quite nice to add to our collection. So, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.